As we continue getting to know the basics around computers and the digital technology that we have in this world today, today I want to look at how we can actually send an email. Now, if you've been following the videos so far, you know that we've created our own Gmail account, we've signed in, we've signed out, and now I'm just going to I'm just going to use my own one. We want to look at how we can actually in Gmail, how we can uh, send an email. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the top left. We're going to look at this button here, Compose, and we're going to click on this. And this is going to tell us everything we need, because this is where we do everything. You can see that it's indicating a new message. This is the to section. In other words, this is the email address, or this is the place where we're going to insert the email address to who we are sending this email to. Okay. So I'm going to send it to myself. And then I've got CC and BCC. Now, your CC is if you want to copy someone in on the email. So let's say I want to send this to another email address. What will then happen is the email will be sent to both of these email addresses. And both of them will see that it's been sent to both of them. However, if I go BCC and I use the same address, what's going to happen is that when this individual receives the email, they won't see that this individual has been copied in the email as well. So both will receive a copy, but the first one will not see that it was sent to the second one. Okay, so you can then see if I've typed the email in incorrectly, I can just click on the X and I can go and type it again to make sure I've typed it incorrectly. So let's say that's all done. Now I go into the subject. Obviously, when the person receives the email, they need to know, well, what is this actually about? Make sure your subject is clear. Maybe I've got uh, an email inquiry um, and maybe put, let's say I have my account number with a particular company. I'll put my account number there. So when the person receives the email, they can see who it's from and they can see that my subject is clear. You'll see up here the subject changes as well. At this stage, if I close the email, if anything happens, the PC shuts down, anything like that. Over here, I've got a drafts folder on the left. That indicates that I've been busy with an email, but I haven't sent it out yet. So you can see when I click on it, it opens it up and I can continue. So let's say I'm just going to say good morning, Mr. Whoever. I have an email inquiry. Kind regards, <laughs> Embry. Okay, so now I've typed out my email. I've got the correct address, got a nice subject in, everything. And then once I'm done, I am going to go to the bottom to send. Now you'll see I've got send in blue here and I've got a little arrow as well because I've got more send options. And when I click on that, I can actually schedule a send. In other words, I can you know, set it so that this email can be sent at a particular time. Now look at that. I can send it tomorrow morning at 8. I can send it this afternoon. I can go and select my specific date and time. In other words, with this option, what I can do is I can draft a couple of emails. Maybe I'm sending it to a few people and I can then go there and I can schedule when it must be sent and it'll only go out at those times. If I'm done with everything, happy with that, I'm now going to click send. How do I know it's sent? Well, first of all, it's out of the drafts. Secondly, over here on the left, I've got my sent items there. When I click on that, there we go. I can click and there I can see that that email has been sent at 1045. It's not even one minute ago. I can even go and print that um, as proof that I have sent it. And folks, that is how we can send an email using Gmail.